What's up, nerds and geeks? My name is OMGWTFLLFTWBRB, and welcome to episode 3 of Let's Play Super Smash Bros. Brawl, the subspace emissary. In the previous episode, we went to Skyworld, where uh, we were uh, introduced to Pit and got to play as him a little bit, along with Mario. And, uh, yeah, simple as that. Now we're going to go to the Sea of Clouds, which I assume will be playing as Pit and Mario. Ooh, wait a minute. All right, and once again, we are introduced to choose a character. Uh, real quick, it seems as uh, that giant ship was chasing Kirby and Princess Peach, and they bounced off of it. And uh, since I have shown off Kirby a little bit, we're going to start off with Peach this time around. So, yeah, simple as that. We're going to start off with the Princess Peach. Real quick, allow me to show off her, you know, special stuff. Unless this... No, it doesn't move. So, as you see... Um, Simple as that. She has a, you know, uh, all that stuff. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, Peach. Uh, and another cool thing is, I thought she floated. I guess I was wrong. So, Peach is um special or just standalone special. She pulls out Toad and he deflects any attack, I believe. Side special, she uh, takes her big rompus and smacks it in the face of her enemy. Up special, she pulls out a um oh an umbrella and slowly floats to the ground. And down special, she pulls out a turnip and throws it at you. Yeah, Princess Peach is a strange one, isn't she? Would you believe me if I told you she's one of the best characters in the game? Probably not. And look at the way she walks. She's so ladylike. Well, when she runs, when she uh, walks, it's just. Da, 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 I'm a princess. And when she runs, let me hold my dress. Alright. Oh, we didn't even need it. So, uh, we're just walking, and we're walking. And this is what we're doing. And it's a peaceful walk. Oh! Well, we beat it! Once again, I do want to express that all these cutscenes would be vastly different if we save Zelda over Princess Peach. I might show them off in an extra video. So, since we start off as Peach there, I will play as Kirby this time around. <laughs> that way I can show off Kirby's moves. So, Kirby, of course... Wow, right away. Hold on real quick. Alright. As I was saying, Kirby, you know, uh, you can just keep doing this over and over and much as you like. Of course, he, uh, just like everyone else, has his charged abilities, so on and so forth. Standalone uh, special, he sucks his enemy in. Say, if I were to suck in Mario, I would gain the powers of Mario, so on and so forth, every uh, character in this game. Up special, he does a sword move, I believe it's called Cutter. Uh, down special, he turns not into a thwomp, but a rock-like thing. I believe it resembles his rock copy ability in his game and uh what's the only one i haven't showed off oh side special where he takes a hammer i believe that's his hammer copy ability yep kirby's uh his games are basically him just copying his ability the ability of his partners oh look and kirby loves to eat so why don't we uh you know duplicate that oh no boxes what will we do we'll destroy them that's what we will and now we got a star, so nothing can harm us. And that kind of the game to give us a star. I thought I was playing on hard. We seem to be getting a lot of stars for some reason. We only had like two, but whatever. This gives us an extra life. That that thing I just picked up, just so you know. I picked it up too fast for me to reveal it. Oh, this guy. He's like the, uh... oh, Jesus. Come here, dude. He reminds me of um, Munchlax from Pokemon. And then we have Fesh, which is a fish. Yeah, there's some really strange enemies. This is a... Tawiao? I don't know. 
All the names are right there. I, I don't know them. Here's another fesh. I just remember the fesh because it's, you know, fish, but fesh. Don't destroy these box. These, uh. I don't know what they are. Gravel? Because you can go up here to this door. And what's in this door? I don't remember. Let's find out. More items! Sweet. So, uh, right there we have some hearts. We only need one, but it gave us two. And we got stickers! As I said prior, stickers are uh, basically stats that you can improve on your character. Some of them give you like a boost of strength, so on and so forth. I'll show those off in a later video, because uh, most likely we're going to end up doing it anyway. I just thought that was an easier way to get down. Cool thing is about the rock ability, apparently, I did not know this. You don't take damage while you're in it. I'm not sure if it was just because the fesh isn't good, but we have more stickers. I just want to see if there's anything else. Nope. Hello, Fesh. I like the Fesh. I like their names. I'm just... I want to tell you that right now. I love the Fesh's names. I like saying that word, too. Fesh. Hey, it's a Primid! So, yeah. This is just, you know, basic level. Kirby, of course, as I said prior, is from the Kirby games. Some fantastic games there. I personally like them. My uh, personal favorite would be Kirby 64. I just have found memories of Kirby 64. As well, it was the first Kirby game I ever played, and I dug it. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Maybe I'll do an LP of that in the future. Don't quote me, though. I'm going to take this Primit out real quick. Ooh! I wonder if we can get one of those guys. I don't think I actually have that. Oh, you... Ah! By the way, if you miss, you I don't believe it sticks around. Here's a home run bat, but I don't feel like having it. Yeah, I'm almost positive if you miss, it doesn't stick around, but I could be wrong, and maybe we can get a Fesh if it stuck around. Alright, Fesh. That's a Happy Hammer. Show that off later on. Yeah. I love me those, uh, those trophy items, but you miss it and you're screwed. It's a sad story. Look, we're not in Skyworld anymore. We're in a seems to be like a mountaintop. I do want to say something though. Uh, I haven't commented on this. That spaceship or a big ship, whatever you want to call it, was uh, attacking another ship. Uh, a ship looked very familiar, and there's another one of the Munchlax guys. And uh, we'll find more about that later. But I do just want to express we did see the. Uh, another ship being attacked and actually taken down. So I guess we'll find out about that later. That is death. Or is it? Oh, these guys. The mites. Mites are very annoying. They'll keep coming until you take this down. So I just want to say, don't focus the mites. Focus the portal. Because the portal is how they, you know, just keep coming. Because they'll just keep coming and coming. Once this portal is down, though, they can't. But they are very annoying. And once the portal's down, you can just beat them up. Punch them around. Beat them up. Look at that. Boom. You want some of me mites? Mite the knights. And uh, that seems to be the area we need to go to, so... Just pick these stickers up. And there we go. Stickers. But yeah, so far so good. I, um, I personally love this game. I guess we'll talk a little bit about Peach, Princess Peach, of course, from the uh, Super Mario series. More typically, um, is the main cause of the game. Because, well, the girl can't not get stolen by Bowser. Which we'll meet later on. If you don't know who Bowser is, I'm, I'm sorry. I have nothing to say to you. I don't feel like I'm spoiling anything because, well, these are well-known characters. Maybe some of them aren't well-known, such as a pit. But someone like Mario, or Bowser, or Peach even, they're big. They're some of the biggest game characters out there. So if you don't know them, I'm s I don't know what to say to you. I'm sorry if I'm spoiling stuff. I'm not trying to. I don't think I am. I'm just assuming all of you know most of the Mario characters. Maybe someone like Wario, I can... Oh god, that guy had a shell that just came out. And we're going to go all the way up here for an item. And it's a star! Like I said, seems like we're getting a lot of stars. 
I'm gonna waste it on this. Ah! Could have so used the star. Shouldn't have wasted it. Gotta take this out. Yes, got it. Boom! That was actually a pretty good plan, I want to say. Boom! And let's take these last mites out. It seems like each video we're just getting like one level done. Which isn't bad, it's actually pretty good. I'm not used to it though, I'm trying to cut down my length of videos here. Unless you guys want, I think I just, nope, I'm still alive. We are very high up, oh god, oh god, this isn't Nina Jones. I like the music in this game too, I just want to say that. Yeah, apparently I don't care if I get hit, because that's all I'm doing is getting hit. This ladder is very suspicious. Oh, I know why it's there, to avoid the rocks. Duh. I don't know why it was there, there. There, there. <sighs> okay. I know one of the... Oh, I don't know if we can go and... <laughs> I was gonna say, I think one of those uh, pits you can go in. I might be thinking of a different level actually. But look, we can show off Peach a little bit. Princess Peach, everyone's a uh, favorite princess, I guess. Who, so, uh, yeah. I don't want to go in there. I don't care if it's. Look at that. La -da 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 -da. And this is gonna be the end of the level here. And a cutscene. No, not a cutscene. Not a cutscene at all. So, doesn't look like we got any trophies, but we do have a bunch of stickers. We have Autogon from Metal Gear Solid Scars of Liberty, I believe it says. Judge from Game & Watch. A Dooku Nut from Zelda Ocarina of Time. Fox from Star Fox Assault. Goldeen from the Pokemon series. A, uh... Yeah, I don't know what that is. Mirith from Fire Emblem, the Sorcerer's... I don't know. Robot and Blocks from Stack Up. It's very small lettering. And you know what? See, the problem is, is like... They're gonna be short videos. I'm gonna try to do around 15 minutes. If I... You know, simple as that, Nerds Geeks. I do apologize. But in our next video, we will go on to what seems to be the jungle. So I do hope you have enjoyed this video or episode. If you have, do me a favor, leave me a comment, a like, and please subscribe if you have not already. And as always, my name has been OMGWTF, LOL, FTWBRB, and I'll see you nerds and geeks in episode 4. So until then, have a great day.